In this video, I will show you how to set up a job for print in VersWorks 6. Now, if you're new to the world of wide format printing, or maybe just new to VersWorks 6, walking through some of the features that I'm about to show you will help you make decisions in economizing media and setting up your job for success when it comes time for print. As each job is a little bit different, I'll be walking through three different scenarios. First up, setting up a job for a banner print. Second, setting up a small sticker run or a small batch of stickers. And lastly, setting up a few posters for a single print job. Now hopefully, in watching me walk through these scenarios, uh, it will help you and apply some of these features to whatever you're looking to print. To get started here, we'll go ahead and open up our Our blue hair graphic print here. Double click that to pull up the job settings. So first up, I want to select Get Media With. This will update our our artboard here to reflect the printable area on our machine. Next up, we can scale up this graphic to the size banner that we want. So in this case, I'll go with a 48 inch tall banner there. And note that with some graphics, you may see your loss of resolution scaling at 100%, but the, for this graphic, I know I'm okay, so just keep that in mind. Next up, I'm gonna go ahead and center the graphic on the media, and the reason being it will average out our margin on both sides, and in the event that the roll starts to track towards the end of the banner, we'll know we have a little extra margin there. If need be, we have these orientation options at the bottom of the layout tab here. You can select different pages and it will rotate uh, as need be. But for this case, I'll leave it as it came in. All right, jumping down to the quality tab, I'm going to select the media type. So for this one, remember we're setting up a banner. I'm gonna go ahead and select the lightweight banner vinyl from our profile options here. Standard quality for a banner is fine. Uh, that should be it for the quality tab. Next up, I'll jump to the marks option where we can select a type of trim marks. What these will do is print a reticle of sorts around each corner of the graphic and can help us give us some guidelines for when we manually trim this out after print. For this graphic, we have a clean line of color around the graphic, but suppose we add some white space, uh, kind of creep into edges of the material these trim marks will help us define that line, and it's just a good measure in setting up a banner. There are a number of different tool options here, but again, looking to keep this simple, so I'm going to click OK. And this job is effectively ready for print. Now at this point, we can rip the file to prepare it for print, or simply select print, and it will rip and release to the printer. But in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and jump into our second job setup here, which will be printing a small batch of stickers. For this one, I will double click the job to open up job settings and start similar to how we did with a banner. In that, I want to select get media width to update our printable area from what the machine has recorded. Next up, we have our graphic here. It's about six inches. Uh, but I want to scale this down and make a smaller sticker. So let's go by with 3.5 in this case. We have that scaled accordingly. Uh, next, let's create a number of copies. I'm going to go with 50 copies here. So already it's looking like um, doing a pretty good job and using up the most space it can width-wise on the printer. Uh, the only thing I'm going to change is to fill the rest of the row. So we'll add six more copies. And the reason being, uh, it's not going to take any more time to print, really. Uh, the extra amount of ink is negligible. And this would otherwise be wasted space. So at least within this run, we can get a few extra stickers out in case something happens during trimming. Note that our cut lines are visible here. This is a good sign. Another thing that you want to check before sending a job to the printer. So that looks good. I'll click OK. And that completes our simple sticker setup. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and jump to this umbrellas poster and configure this uh, in a way 
uh, that we would like to print. So, okay. Jump to the Layout tab. We have our poster here. I'm going to start the same way as the last ones. Get the media width from the printer. You can scale this accordingly. Uh, in this case, 24 inches wide is perfect, 24 by 32. So all I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, rotate this if need be and create four copies. So far, so good. Uh, similar to how we did with the banner, I want to center this on the roll and jump to our marks and ensure some sort of trim mark is added here. Again, this step is not necessary, but it's just a nice thing to add if we have the extra space on the roll to give ourselves a little room for trim work. All right, I'm going to click OK. All right, so there you have it, three simple different job scenarios uh, that can help you get set up moving forward with your printing. Hopefully walking through the layout, quality, and marks tab will give you a few options that you have in laying out your print, economizing media, and getting off on the right foot with your Roland.